Hey there, this is James Darknell from The Foundry with a Moto 10 series quick clip. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating to you the new Unreal shader and the advanced viewport. So let's take a look. So this is my asset. It has been textured already in Substance Painter and the textures have been exported out. So now that I've pulled my asset into Moto, I'm going to be assigning those textures in the shader tree. I'm going to be doing this in the new Game Tools viewport. So let's jump in there. I like using the control tab switcher. So we're going to jump over here to game tools. And you can see over here that I have this set as my advanced viewport. So I'm just going to jump in here to the shader tree and it's already been set up as the two different materials. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to go in here and I need to add our custom materials and the Unreal material on that and that's going to allow the textures to display properly using the Unreal shader and I'm going to do that to right here too. So I have an Unreal material on that one. So just like normal shader tree layers we're going to go in here we're going to go and load an image map on there and I'm just going to grab the bottom base color object. So in order to get this to show up properly, then we need to set the effect correctly. So we're going to go in here and right click on the effect. And then you can see down here we have Unity and Unreal menus. And I guess these are kind of popping off the screen a little bit to you. Uh, but you can see in here I can go and select the Unreal base color. Uh, and then that allows that texture to show up properly. And I'm going to do that for each of my textures now. So I'm going to load the emissive layer in here and then do the same thing and go to Unreal and we're going to go to emissive color. So this is using the same names that are typically used by Unreal that makes it really easy uh, for you to assign these. And you can see now that that is starting to apply in there. And one quick thing that I want to do is I'm going to add an environment in here really quick. So I'm going to load an image into my environment. And if you want to make sure that that's going to light, HDR light your scene and act as the reflection, we want to go in here to the 3D viewport properties. So I open that by pressing O on my keyboard and going to my advanced options. And you want to go to the background on that and you want to set that to environment. And then my lighting is also set to environment. So I'm just going to click away there. So now it is going to be using that HDRI image to actually light our, our textures or light our, our asset in the viewport. So I'm going to keep adding my textures in here, but it's kind of a bummer having to go through and add these one at a time. So I'm going to show you a little trick here. I'm going to hit my Alt tab and I'm going to open up my UI switcher here and I'm just going to go into my Explorer window here and I'm just going to take these last three textures here and I'm just going to drag and drop those right into the shader tree to like these five textures and I'm going to drag and drop those. Now I'm just going to jump back into Moto and then I'm just going to sort of adjust these so that I can see the name a little bit better and then I can go through and I can specify each effect. And you see when you specify the normal, you actually get this nice little pop-up that says that the clip map that you want has color correction on it. And when you're using a image map as a normal map, you don't actually want any color correction on it. So you can click yes here and you can see in the image still that the color correction is automatically disabled for your texture. So that's a nice little workflow enhancement that's been added so that people don't have issues with applying normal maps. So I'll go and specify the rest of these. So here's the roughness, the base color, the emissive, and the metallic. All right, so now you can see that asset in the viewport and how fantastic that looks. So the beauty of this all is when you have this set up like this, then you can export it out and use these same shaders directly in Unreal. And the way that you do that, so we're going to go to the Export tab here, and we're just going to select the 
Unreal Engine 4 preset on that that automatically sets up all of our settings that we're going to want for that asset. Uh, and then we can just export that particular object by pressing the export button and then open that up in Unreal. So that has been the Unreal Shader. Thanks for watching this Moto 10 Quick Clip.